there's a fence and a gate and now I got if you can believe look at this water tank 150 gallon water tank 100 gallon water tank I got water pressure I got a sink and then down here I got well this is just water supply and here's my aquaponics this is my fish I'll have fish to eat in about a year and be able to grow veggies on the wall over here oh boy four years I've been here just four years it's like blowing my mind how this is filled up I mean I filled this place it's almost like too full oh I love that sunrise Found a surfboard. I'm fixing a surfboard for myself. I got a garden going back here. Oh, I, this is a... I, I glued a foil to the side of the wall to reflect the heat. I got it on the roof, too. To reflect the heat. More water to water my plants. There's a time of year, about February, March, April, May, there's no water, so you gotta store up all the water you can. My chickens, my chicken coop is like turning green. It's a dome that I covered with wire and then plastic and then cement covered towels. Do you see any chickens in here? There's some red faces. Got three of them. Had them uh, about a year and a half. Oh yeah, so, you know, I'm, jeez. Papaya trees, another papaya tree. Just, you know, because I was feeding the chickens papaya and the Man, those trees are growing good. And here's a grapefruit tree, and it's just going crazy. And I sure hope I get grapefruits on this baby. Man, I'm sorry, I'm tired of buying them from Texas. Oh, and here's my other my 10-foot dome. I'm putting wire around it. Not quite sure how I'm going to cover it. I'm still figuring it out. Just got stuff in here. And here's my 20 foot dome. See the food, the beds in there. Cut the plastic back, it's just on top to keep the rain off. Let the wind blow through. It got really hot in there. So, so I mean, it's blowing my mind. I mean, it's sort of putting seeds in pots and pots filled up with dirt and dirt and papaya tree. Where's my papaya up there? There it is. I have to go get that for the chickens. There's Joe. Happy Joe. More water. Got to water the plants in the dry season. Well, I didn't know about dry season until last year. Whoa, it was dry for months and months. Oh, my garden. I mean, can you believe all this? I can't believe it. I don't know about you. I've just been busy Having fun, man, really. Gotta love that sunrise. NPR radio. Coming in clear finally after, God, I don't know how many months, weeks, year, trying to get a good station. Finally, it's clear. 
anyway, you know, there's an avocado tree. I don't know, man, I'm not into avocados, but this thing sure wants to grow. The only sign of fish, you know, they'll come up for food. Maybe they don't want their picture taken, I don't know. Huh. Little tiny fish, I can see they're nibbling at it, but not the big fish. Trippy, huh? Solar panel. The solar panels I'm going to use to pump the water for the aquaponics. Oh, anyway. I don't know what that, anyway other things. This is my latest sink, water tank, 100 gallons, hose. Nice, huh? God, I'm just digging my... And then the overflow goes in there. The thing I found out about this well, shit, it filled up pretty good last night. It added, well, I don't know. I'm having learning experience. Okay. And this is my other, same thing. This is a 150-gallon water tank, and that roof produces a lot more water. I, oh, I built this out of pallets, five pallets. Man, these pallets are some kind of wood from Southeast Asia. It is hard. Man, I got to use a drill. So, the water goes in. I'm loving it. So I got, you know, a kitchen sink. I'm <laughs> loving it. You, but, uh, you want to know where north is? Right up there. So, oh, this I did in Santa Barbara, you know. Yellow elk. And these are all these stones here, all those rocks. That's, what is it? Geez, I got a senior moment here. That's a rock from Big Sur Jade. We called it Big Sur Jade. Anyway, there's my sign that I built. I did in ceramics class back in Santa Barbara. Whew long time ago, but I knew I was coming. Solar powered, much to my surprise, wind power. I need. Here's Joe. He's about ready for a haircut. We'll see what he looks like after he gets his haircut. Pretty long right now. Well, pretty well filled up, man. I pretty well filled this place up with all my fun rocks. Oh, you know, you know this stuff. Coconut, coconut chips for plant, for compost. There's my 10 foot dome, six foot ceiling. Trying to figure out how to fill those triangles in. The latest is 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 a uh, air air cement where you mix air bubbles in with cement and uh, what do you get? You get cement bricks that will float. Not like so. I don't know. Where there's those are the neighbors across the street that are going to do that. We'll check into that. And here's my chickens you know anyway 
putting that fence in the backyard was a uh, super. I mean, those are free. They were from the feed store. And I'm going to be growing veggies in. So these trays will have rock and the water runs through and back into the tank. Oh man, am I having fun? I mean, I, this is aquaponics and I, and then there's a fish, of course, a tilapia fish. <laughs>